baby. Mommy will be back for you. Well, hello, good people. Um, just so y'all know, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the road. Understand? Um, so it's a sad moment in time. <laughs> I am going to clean out my baby. They done total Vicky, y'all. They done total my baby. I'm I'm just so hurt. When they first told me, I just boo boo cried. Like I just I, I want my baby back. Oh, I loved her. Why y'all don't understand? And I hate this rental. Like it's going back because. I don't like the way it drive. And the discount tire dude was like, hey, you might want to get them back wheels replaced. Uh, sir, this is not my car. And I got to take it up there for them to look at it. And I just know they going to be like, oh, I don't see anything wrong with the bitch. There's something wrong with them back tires. I'm not driving this dangerous piece of shit. Y'all see me. Just I just got in an accident. Y'all trying to get me in another one. What the hell wrong with y'all? And I want my car mount back. But... Yeah, they told him my baby out. I'm so sad. Like, oh my God. It's the sentimental part for me because before my grandmother died, she told me, you know, with the life insurance money, you can do whatever you want with it. She had already saved her money for her funeral expenses and everything. So she was like, it's all yours. Don't spend nothing on the funeral or on me or nothing like that. And she was like, but I want you to get you a new car because I had a Ford Focus and it was giving me issues. And I was like, okay, I can do that. Like, I'll get a new car. And so I took it and I went to put the down payment on Vicky. And that was in 2016. That was just a, a, just a couple months after she passed. And <clears throat> I did what she told me to do. I named the car after her. Like, it was kind of like the last thing I had of her and I had to come to the realization after talking to my cousin, like, there, she's not attached to the material. She's not attached to the car. Thank God, I know she was in that car with me when I got in the car accident. I know she's in the car with me every day, all day. I know she's with me every day, all day, protecting me. But it's just still a matter of, like, you know, we talk about material possessions not, a bit, not being much. But at the end of the day, a lot of us and most of us are attached to our cars. Like, if we name them, they get us around. Like, we, we really have an attachment to our cars. Like, I know I can't be the only one. So when you lose something and it's like, but that was mine, though. Like, it, it was mine. Like it, like, it was mine. Then it hurts. Like, I didn't want to see that happen. And then when I was looking at the damages, I would have never thought they would have totaled that car out. It didn't even have that many damages. They said it was going to be $9,000 to fix. I feel like that was a piece, a load of bullshit. But whatever, that's what happened. That's what they said. Um, And y'all going to see this steering wheel. So that's what they said. And the insurance company was like, baby, we're going to total that thing out. And I just about cried. Um, only benefit is my car was worth $14,000. Because when I bought it, it was market valued at twenty four, dollars And I got it for fourteen. dollars So I got a, a hell of a deal on it when I bought it. That <laughs> The power of negotiation. So I only owed about seven, which means I get like seven back to put towards a new car. But I'm like, I gotta start over with a with a car note. I got just the whole process all over again. Don't know if I want to go cash car, used car, new car. Like it's just too much. I gotta do this all over. Then I gotta deal with this damn rental until I can get a new car. And it's just too much. Like I just want my baby back. <laughs> But new beginnings, new beginnings. She gonna be in this one with me just like she was in the last one. I'm trying to keep it positive. I'm gonna try not to cry when I go up here and clean out all my stuff because the insurance company was like, well, when can you get your stuff out so we can get rid of it? Bitch, when I can. And this was Friday or at least Thursday. I'm like, ma'am, ma'am, I don't have time for this. Like you gonna have to wait. I got too much stuff going on. So, I'm going up here to get my little stuff out, say my goodbyes. Though I'm missing you, I find a way to get through. 
That's how I'm gonna feel. Living without you. Cause you are my biggie, my strength, and my ride or die. Okay. Um, just had to hit y'all with a little freestyle, a little, little tune, little. <laughs> But let me. I'm really sad. Y'all love John out of Grave. Okay. Okay. And I hate being over here. I'm over here on this and that. And, it, and if you know Houston, you know this and that. No explanation needed. <laughs> Even if you're not from Houston, you know what this and that means. The whole stroll of them all. And I'm going to cut y'all off when I turn in because y'all know I don't be trying to touch no phone and, and drive at the same time. I hate this turn. I just hate it over here because it's so cluttered and people do not know how to drive. Shit. You're going to have to wait. Get off my ass, ho. Because, baby, I make right turns slower than the motherfucker now. Oh here, when I'm when I'm a pork. Oh, they got it thick. It's thick in here. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess I can park right here. They got my baby in the back, probably all toe up and shit. I'ma try to bring y'all with me, but y'all know it'd be kind of weird when you vlogging, but so hold, hold on. Hold on. Cause I gotta get all my shit's naive my bags and stuff oh, chill, it's just too much but i'll be back now this is ellie guys hey how you doing he totaled out my car can y'all believe he did me like that no, it wasn't me but it was an insurance company and then yeah. side note i don't know if he has a girlfriend but he's really cute <laughs> i just want to put that out there on the youtube but thank you ellie it. so much of i know course. we're supposed to be social distancing but he's awesome Corona paint and body repair, right? Yes. Okay, and you guys take walk-ins and everything? Yeah, anything. Awesome. So if you're in Houston on Bissonnette, Corona paint and body are amazing. I love their customer service. Shout out to Joanna, too, because that's my boo. <laughs> okay, y'all, bye. They done totaled my baby out, and I came to clean her. <laughs> Look at my... They just put my parts in the back of the car. What's he, why y'all do me like that? Ooh, child. If I ain't got the meanest headache, what can I sit this on? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me find something to sit y'all down on. I don't feel like going to get nobody's tripod because my head is killing me. And this wig ain't making it no better. I don't know why I feel like my lighting is terrible. Ah, it's time for a new phone. Time to upgrade the good, uh, the good vlogging phone. First of all, take your glasses off. Uh, you're in this wig. Listen, Linda. Girl. Oh, I know why my lighting. Is. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Okay, there we go. Um, had to cut the big light on, but... <laughs> Child, I'm coming out of all this. I got on this shirt because I had to do a video interview. Um, so hopefully I get this job. <clears throat> so I apply. Y'all know my full-time entrepreneur struggles. Um, and I did have to get a new car. So update, I got a new car. Um, I got a 2016 Hyundai Tucson. Definitely got to get used to driving that <laughs> after driving a, a Honda Fit. But, yeah, that, that thing, it's, it's going to take, I'm going to get it. It's going to take me a little bit. I know how to drive because I learned how to drive in the Expedition. But trying to back that thing up in that little bitty parking spot I got out there. Yeah. But, nevertheless, I got one. Thank God. Thank God. I'm taking this room back tomorrow, baby. Y'all can have this. Y'all can have she. <laughs> Um, I'll post a picture of me in the in the car that I took. Um, baby, I look tired and I got it today, so I am tired. Today is Thursday the 11th. Happy Veterans Day to all my veterans out there. 
Uh, thank you for your bravery. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, y'all, y'all the real ones, cause I couldn't do it. Um, but yeah, I I got a headache. I went to a couple of car lots. Uh, my white dad that I always talk about. Um, one of his friends, shout out to BJ. Hey BJ. Um, owns a driveway autos. It's five locations in Houston. So if y'all looking for a used car in Houston, hit up BJ. Go to driveway autos. They got five locations in Houston. So Google them. Look them up. Because he was super sweet. Super sweet. Awesome guy. Um, and also, I ended up getting a car from Russell and Smith Honda right here by my crib. Shout out to Henry, my salesman. And uh, Anthony Alexander. <laughs> Mr. Alexander, the uh my financing guy, it's crazy because he helped he financed uh was my finance specialist when I got the Honda Fit five years ago. And he's an old older black guy. Like he about to retire. And when I went in there, I was like, Mr. Anthony, you still here? That was five years ago I got that fit. He said, Five years? I said, five years ago I got that fit. <laughs> like that that's how long he was like, it ain't been five years. I was like, definitely has. Um, that's Christian. What she talking about, girl? What you talking about, girl? <sighs> oh, I know what she talking about. Forgot I sent her a screenshot. Um, <laughs> just Christian, I hate you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so got that. Dang it, y'all! I forgot to delete some space. Crap. Ah, do I want to cut this off and then delete some space? I just do this one and then delete some space and I like come back tomorrow because I got to take the rental back and all that stuff. Then I can show y'all the car or whatever. But um, that's what we are with that. And I'm trying to. So it's gray. So we've been going back and forth with names. It's a it's a he. It's a he this time. I miss my Vicky so much. It's still hard. I'm still emotional. But, uh, so, my white dad, apparently his nickname is Mick. Because his name is Dave McMahon. And so, his friend told me that. So, I, I named the car Mick. But my mama came up with, what'd she say? Grayson. Uh, Honey. That's short for, for Hyundai. I guess that's what it was. It was She was texting. So, I don't know what kind of name she done came up with. Hanson, all kind of stuff uh, she came up with. But more than likely, it's going to be Mick or Mickey, something like that. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was cute that I named it after him because he did help me a lot with this process. He helped me a lot in life, period. <laughs> Let's just get that straight. But, okay, yeah, so got that out the way. Glad that's done. <sighs> Lord, this process is over, y'all. We made it through. We made it through. That, that's, we made it through. And we made it through with a with a lower car note and a better interest rate, girl. What? I I hate I had to start over, but God, come on, but God blessings. Um, I'm really sitting here in this stocking camp. I should be a damn shame of myself, but I'm not. So I'm definitely um, uh, you know, I love the full time entrepreneur life. Um, and you know, I've stated previously, it is hard you know, financially, but I will say the job I did apply for is a job that I feel like is not going to be stressful for me. I'm going, going to, you know, enjoy it. It's something that's, you know, it's in a, a nonprofit community. I'm not going to say what the job is until I get the job, but I, y'all pray that I get it because I need that coin and what I'm going to do with that coin <laughs> is pay off all my debt. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pay off all my debt, and that's what that's why I went ahead and go, you know, took it and applied for places. Not very many because I knew what job I specifically wanted. I knew what pay rate I wanted. Like you know, it's, it's I got two degrees. I got to put them to use, and it, it's not gonna stop my entrepreneurship. I'm still gonna do that. Still gonna do TTM. Still gonna do YouTube. I'm just gonna be out here grinding. Your girl gonna be out here grinding. Do you hear me? So. I did do that, uh, and I want to move. Y'all know I hate it here. So I, I just want to do more things, and I feel like this will give me the opportunity to do that because 
I'd rather be financially stable and still happy than struggling because it's it's hard. Like I say first before you make that move. Um, and I did a little bit, but I didn't enough. And then again, it's really debt at this point. <laughs> like it's honestly, that's what it is. I just have way too much debt. And I need to pay that down before I can become a full-time entrepreneur. Like, I want to be completely debt-free. So, once I get done with that, then, you know, only God knows the future. But it's not going to stop me, though. It's not going to stop me from reaching my goals and doing my thing. Uh, Y'all see, I'm still speaking. I'm going to still continue to speak. Um, But I love it. I love it. So... It's been a day. It's been a day. And then I'll bring y'all with me tomorrow. Uh, show y'all the new whip. The new whip. Show y'all little Mickey. Little Mick. <laughs> Child, y'all can tell I'm sleepy. I'm so damn tired. I got on this blouse with some damn jeans because I had to do the video interview thing. So y'all know I had to dress up from the neck down, from the neck up. Dress up from the waist up, whatever you want to call it. Um, the life of virtualness, but so I'm about to take a shower, with y'all, because baby, look at these. I that's look at look at look at look at look at the bags, look at the bags, girl. Go to bed, <laughs> go to bed. But as always, I love y'all. Okay, as per usual, as per usual, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Don't hit, go hit the button, hit that button. Okay. Make sure y'all do that. Watch the videos all the way through. You feel me? Okay, cool. Now that we got an understanding. I will see y'all tomorrow. All right? Bye. Well, good morning, good people. Um, I had to move the rental car to the other side. Where my house is. Um... Now I got to move all the stuff out of the rental car to my car. Speaking of Mickey, there she go. I'm sorry, there he go. Look at me, still thinking about Vicky. <laughs> my baby. Well, this is my new baby. <sighs> Big ass goddamn thing. <laughs> oh. Uh, so, good luck with me. It's gonna take me a little minute. What the hell? See, that's that bullshit. I don't play around with that. Oh no. Ooh, it smell like new car in here. I don't have nowhere to put y'all yet. My car mount. It'll be here tomorrow. So y'all gonna have to do something. Oh, haha. <laughs> yeah. Where well, I always put y'all. Oh, it's hot. Oh, baby, this wheel got to come down. I'm too short for this. Oh, it's hot. Oof. Oh, yeah, let me fix them vents, right? Let me fix them vents, because, baby, when I tell you, oh, oh, I need all that. Give me all that air. Bring her down a little bit. Yeah, that's more like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta get used to this big ass shit. I drove a goddamn mm -hmm. small ass fit. I be scared to press the gas. I don't know why. The <laughs> bitch, how else is the car gonna go? I bet people like, oh hell, she can't be on the street. Uh-uh. Fuck that. Man, I just realized. Oh. I was about to say, I just realized I ain't had no backup camera. I can't do the game like this. See, we done got so spoiled. I really like I use the backup camera, but then at the same time I don't because it just don't be trustworthy all the time. I had to let go of my side cam. Oh, it smell good in here. 
I'm excited. Show y'all the inside. I don't know why it's zoomed in so much, but little Mickey out here doing the thing. Doing the thizzing. Got oh, I got a whole bunch of space but now. Oh, where we go? Where are we going? Um, but yeah, I gotta move this stuff though. So I'll be back. At this point, I don't know where I am in this vlog. <laughs> it's so many pieces because it's a whole journey. So it's like a week's worth of pieces. I just realized. Is this baby? What? Uh, yeah, that was the radio or something. And my iPhone in the house. Oh, well. So, I'll be back. I don't know when, but I'll be back. Because I got to empty this car out. I'm going to go be nice and wash it. Um, <clears throat> even though, because they going to wash it, but they don't really be washing it. It's going to bother me if I don't wash it. Um, and then, I got to lift back home to get in my new baby. So... Yeah, I'll be back at some point throughout the day, though. But that's my new baby, Hyundai Tucson. One of the Honda, but, you know, Honda didn't really have nothing. That parking lot was empty. Ooh, it was empty. It was so empty. Wow, it looked like I got swollen eyes. So I went with what they had that was in my price range. That was the size I wanted. All that. So I had to compromise on what type of car it was. Like I had to compromise. It's not Honda. It's not Toyota. It's Hyundai. So yeah. But I like it. But now I just gotta drive it. See if I really, really like it. And if I don't, I, can, I don't know. <laughs> I'ma like it, y'all. And I gotta stay safe as always, cause I don't know why I keep wanting to call it Big Bertha. I don't know why this keep this that keeps coming to me. But yeah, so I'll be back. Bye. Okay, hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Check out my new stair wheel cover. Oh, purple. Okay, so I'm tired as hell. Um ooh, Karma out come tomorrow. And I can't wait. Cause I'm sick of this. Like, I feel like I'm not close to y'all. Um, I am at Ross. Let me lock my doors. Oh, it's supposed to... Oh, I didn't shift. But I'm leaving Ross. So, tell me why. I went in Ross, right? And I was going to get a gift card. I'm finna tell, too. Piss me off. Um, I go in Ross to get a gift card for somebody's birthday. They only got Christmas gift cards, like gift cards with Christmas themes. So I said, so y'all don't have no regular gift cards? So people go in there and they want a gift card for a birthday, they got to get a Christmas themed gift card? What? Do that fucking make sense? Well, I almost went off in this, though, because I'm already tired. I'm already tired of shit. I've been running around all day. Got to run around all day tomorrow. That just made absolutely no sense to me. Okay, that's my... Okay, I got these for Jamaica. They better work, too. They look cheap as shit. Oh, fuck my life. Feel like they gonna break i'm gonna toss them around when i get to the house they waterproof phone cases i'm gonna toss some bad boys around that's what's gonna happen uh and my phone case for my samsung yep yep did he do it don't look too thick i just wanted to fit on my car mount which I feel like it will. And my tripod. It don't look too thick. 
It don't have no, because I can't do no pop socket or nothing, because that shit will not fit on my tripod. Okay, yeah, it ain't that big. It's cute, though. <laughs> okay, I need to quit shopping. Um, <laughs> Clearly, is what's happening. But I did get some. See, the thing with me is, I don't shop much. For one, I be broke as shit. But not for long, because manifestation. Girl, fuck that shit. Um, so what we not going to do is start dirtying up the new car. Don't do that. Don't do that. I know you frustrated, but don't do that. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut this light off. Y'all going to ride with me to the crib, which is like literally five minutes down the road. <clears throat> but um, I don't... I don't shop much for clothes, for shoes. First of all, I'm cheap as shit. Like, I'm thrift, thrift store shouty around these parts, okay? I don't shop merch at all for clothes and shoes. So what I end up doing is if I come into some, like a nice amount of money or save, like I'll put a little bit of money to the side and save because I shop like in in bulk, if that makes sense, I guess. So like maybe two times a year, I'll go shopping. And I don't even really just be buying a bunch of shit because I don't go nowhere. Um, But if I get this job, I'm gonna have to start dressing up. But I don't really just be buying a bunch of shit because I don't go nowhere. So I don't get a lot of things. And then I got clothes in the closet that I can still wear. And when I do go places, I'm tights and t-shirts, shawty. So, I don't really be buying clothes like that. Shoes, I got a bunch of tennis shoes. I'm not a sandal person. First of all, girl, I need to do better with keeping my toes under control. Because, baby, them hoes just don't be painted. I'm just so big on my nails. And, I, I like, I literally only wear tennis shoes. I either got on them Crocs or I got on some tennis shoes at all times. Like, I don't like sandals. I, it's because I'm a tomboy. I kid y'all not. I literally just bought two pairs of shorts from the dude section. Like, I... I hope they fit because they are small and I don't know why I didn't realize girl you got ass you got ass you need a medium sis You're, you need a medium okay Um, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with a small that shit ain't gonna fit but we gonna see when I get there Uh, didn't, can't try nothing on so if it don't fit it's going right back to Ross but I gotta buy clothes for Jamaica whoo Jamaica coming December 3rd to the 7th. It's going down. Um, they didn't really have much of what I needed. Most of the stuff I need, I'm going to have to get online. Because, I mean, they ain't selling swimsuits no more. <laughs> like, they ain't selling swimsuits no more. Um, all the shit I need for the summertime, because it's hot as the fuck in Jamaica. Uh, yeah, they ain't got that in the stoves. So, I bought me some updated winter clothes, like some sweaters and poncho. I love ponchos, y'all. But some little sweaters and stuff. And I could probably get rid of some old ass sweaters I got in there. Like, literally, I have clothes from years ago. Like, my weight is up and down. But for the most part, I can usually fit all the clothes that I have. Like, they, like, it, now, unless they pants. Pants is different. But top-wise, I don't really lose weight like that. Um, so, I be keeping clothes for a long time. They last me forever. And that is that a damn grocery basket? Oh, you know you in the hood when you see a fucking grocery basket. Girl, now y'all get to watch me back this big ass truck. Uh, oh, Paul Mickey. Be going through. I gotta take my seatbelt off when I bag up. Am I the only person that do that? That take they they gotta take their seatbelt off? Probably so, because I don't really just bag up that much. But I definitely be having to take my seatbelt off because I be having to turn and shit. It sucks because my parking spot is like right by the fucking gate. So it's no way for me to swing this big ass truck into that parking spot. Like it's no way. And then it's, it's poles right here and I done, took, I done took off a couple mirrors with that pole. I done scratched a couple of goddamn with that shit so uh -huh. who wait oh i was gonna say where y'all going i'm bagging this shit up y'all better move 
I wonder if it beat when I get close to something like the kid do. Let's see if it's going to beat. Is it going to beat? It don't look like it's going to beat. So it's not going to beat? Well, that's fucked up. Damn. What's the point then? Okay. Ooh, Vicky was so small. Shit, I used to whip her in this parking spot. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm at home now. Girl, girl, girl. It's so much. I got so much shit. The rental car place was a disaster. Some fucking shit. Uh, it, something happened to the side of that motherfucker, and it definitely wasn't my goddamn fault, but whatever. So I gotta deal with that shit. At, like I didn't just get in a whole car accident. But. Girl, I'm gonna have to get out the car and get these damn bags because it's too much. It's too much. Okay, y'all. I gotta carry all my shit in the house. Um, I would do a try on haul, but I don't really have that type of setup. I ain't buy that many clothes, first of all, and they just regular clothes. I'm gonna do it one day. That was me thinking on if I was lying or not. Uh, I don't know. It's just not my thing. <laughs> like, I don't really just buy clothes like that to just do a try on. Like, y'all gonna just see some basic shit. So, I don't know. Y'all tell me if that's a good idea or not, because I really don't know. But, damn, I'm at nine minutes. Okay, let me go, because this gonna be a long ass fucking vlog, because I got like 10 pieces to this bitch. But I holla at y'all. That is the end of the car journey vlog. New whip, Mickey, aka Mick. Um, and that's it. So, y'all keep me in my in your prayers. Stay safe on this road, as I stay safe on this road. Furry ass thing. But I love y'all, and until next time. Oh, that's my neighbor. Cause listen. Oh, that Jane. All right. But until next time, bye.